and filth. Welcome to a special edition of the Humongous Opinion. Yes, that's right. It's the Halloween edition. That's why I'm dressed as a, as a ghost, in case you couldn't tell. Yes, I'm rather convincing. Despite the fact that I don't have any holes yet, I mean, it's, it's kind of making this a little tough. So, anyways, human filth, yes, I am your host with the most STDs. Humongous, fungus, and humongous, yes, it's that time of year you've been waiting, I've been waiting. Nobody's, nobody's actually really been waiting, but still, you know, it's Halloween. But to me, it feels more like hella weird. Yes, that's right. I don't agree. I want the more traditional Halloween. I miss the days. You know, because back in my day, trunk or treating. Oh, yeah, trunk or treating had a whole new meaning. It involved a whole lot of candy, but you got a sore butt afterwards. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, get in the trunk. It's free candy. Just get in there. You know? Yeah, you know, but back in my day, we used to do a whole lot of different things, you know? Whatever happened to the days of wearing a mask, wearing a costume, hurling vegetables and rotten fruit, and unsuspected passerbys? You know? What happened to the things that go kaboom in the night? The things that made Halloween fun? And smoke bombs and smashing pumpkins. Oh yeah. I I don't mean that smashing pumpkins. I'm not talking about Billy Corgan. And I'm not talking about those pumpkins with the one hole drilled in them, you know, although those are fun to smash, if you know what I mean. I'll throw those to the incels out there. Maybe they'd be a little happier this Halloween. Anyways, I digress. You know, Halloween used to be awesome. We used to light bags of dog shit on fire. Knock on the door, run to the bushes, and wait and watch to see Mr. Rogers open the door. Judas Priest Barber is one of those flaming bags again. Ah, oh, God, or Mr. Farley. Ah, oh, God, oh, smashing. It's on my shoe. <laughs> poop again. Always a good time. And I'm burning witches, hunting vampires, whacking unsuspected werewolves with wooden stakes, and then shot off their ass. Lamb, Mr. Beauregard. Anyways, you and Villafu, all of this nostalgia brings me to my annual list. I know you haven't been waiting, but I've been waiting. <sighs> the anticipation is killing me. Here is your top five horror characters that just need to fucking die. All right, good God. I remember this list is in no particular order, even though it's in almost a perfect order. It's a little out of order. All right, number five on my list. We're going for Saw. That's right. And it's not Jigsaw. Billy, you tricycle ride, you little useless puppet masterpiece of shit. Get the fuck out of here. Put him on the train. Send him to the island of misfit toys. Useless. Number four on my list. The sheriff from the original... Not the Walking Dead. I, why, why, why am I thinking the Walking Dead? Night of the Living Dead. The Night of the Living Dead sheriff killed the coolest character in the whole goddamn movie. Yeah, they're dead. They're all messed up. Probably because he's a racist. But still, moving on on my list. Number three. Number three. Oh, number three. Do I dare go there? Final Destination. I want death to die. Then you can just drop fucking dead. Death, you have outplayed, outlived your fucking well. And get the fuck out of here. Somebody turn the tables on death. I don't, I don't know how you would do that, but I'm pretty sure you could do it. Hollywood, do it. End this franchise. Number two, which should be number one, but I'm putting her at number two just because number one holds a special place in my heart. Sherry Moon Zombie, any character you play in any fucking horror movie, <laughs> death. Don't just fucking imitate me, it's fucking rude. Get out of here, you ruin every movie you're in. Good God. It's fine if you like her, whatever. <sighs> Not my thing. And the number one person on my list of horror 
icons in movies that need to die. Laurie Strode. That's right, Laurie Strode. I got your number, and it's number one. Get out of here. You're not. When the friggin' play, you're not. That, that what's her name named? The Sarah Connor. Get out of here. You're not fighting the Terminator. You're fighting the shape, and you're gonna lose. I want to see all five of these characters. I want them dead. Down and dead. That's right, human filth. That's my list. I'm done. I gotta go get the friggin' panel van ready for Halloween. So stay safe, stay stupid, tune in to more Punky's Mixtape right here on Twitch. And remember, it's not Halloween until you smash some pumpkins, so drill those holes just a little too small.